Welcome and thank you for using DreamText plans in your Unity projects. I'm Mitko and in this video we'll go over the basics of spline creation and editing in version 2.01. To create a new spline, go to Game Object, 3D Object, Spline Computer. If you have just imported the package and haven't changed any preferences, you'll get a new object called Spline in the scene and you'll enter Spline Creation Mode. The green grid indicates that you'll be placing the spline points along the world Y plane. In order to create a spline, you need at least two points. To create a point, simply click with your left mouse button and repeat this as many times as you like. To exit point creation mode, either go into the inspector and click on the plus button, or click and hold your right mouse button, and then without releasing it, also click the left button. We are currently in spline edit mode. This means that any editor tools you try to select will not work because they are being overwritten by our spline editor. For example, if I press W, it's going to toggle the spline point move tool in the inspector. Same goes for E, rotation tool, and R, scaling. Oh, and Q goes back to create mode. Each tool when selected has different options underneath. For example, I just created a bunch of points in the world's Y plane. But what if I wanted to place them on the surface of an object? Now let's create a sphere. Place it in the middle of the scene and gonna make it a little bit bigger. Then go back to our spline and go back to creation mode. Now if I go here in the inspector, I have this placement mode drop down which says Y plane, which is the current placement mode. If I switch it to X plane, it's gonna pick the X plane, uh, I can also pick the camera plane, etc. But what I want to do is go to the surface mode. Now what I'm going to get is a big red cross on my cursor and this is because my surface mask has not been set. If I go to the surface mask drop down and pick everything, this is going to let me place points on the surfaces of objects which have colliders. And because this sphere has a collider, I can place points on the surface of the sphere. There we go. Now once we're done placing points, we can edit the spline. To select spline points, you can either click on them, drag select them, you can select all points by pressing Ctrl plus A as a shortcut, or you can use the select drop down menu in the inspector, if you really want to. Holding Ctrl allows you to add more points to the selection, and holding Shift allows you to select a range of points. And with our points selected, we can use the editor tools to edit them. Check out the different options each tool has, and if you're not sure about how something works, you can refer to our user menu for the full explanation. Now here's the move tool. All these tools you already know from the Unity editor, they are pretty much the same. Oh, and you can also edit the points parameters by hand from the inspector here. Just keep in mind that this is the average value of the points, so if you have points that have different values, these values will be averaged as soon as you try to edit these parameters. There are also a couple of operations available for the selected points. You can find them in the drop-down field under the point properties. And as soon as you click on an operation, it is going to get executed for the selected points, like for example mirror X. Or distribute evenly. And of course we can delete points by selecting them and pressing the delete key. Or we can use this delete tool which lets us delete points in a brush-like manner. And once we're done editing the spline, we can exit spline edit mode in one of the following manners. We can press escape. We can also deselect all the spline points and double click in the scene view. And finally, we can toggle edit mode on and off by pressing Ctrl E for edit. Once we're out of the edit mode, the spline computer object starts behaving just like a regular Unity object. You can use all Unity tools on it just like you would on any other Unity object in the scene. And finally, let's take a look at the tool's preferences. Go to Edit, Preferences, Dream Tech and Splines. Here you can see a couple of options that will let you control the default behavior of our splines. Like for example, you can pick a different spline color. And now when I create a new spline, it is going to be black because it's an emotional goth spline. We can also change the highlight color from blue to whatever we want and this is going to change the highlight color and the drag color and something that some of you might find helpful is the show point numbers option when this is toggled point numbers are shown above each spline point and this corresponds to the selection menu here that's it for this first tutorial a very rough overview of spline creation and editing stay tuned for the next videos where we'll dive deeper and deeper in this sinkhole of a tool that we have here